Hello there, I am Sajan again. In this video, I am going to cover the installation and setup of EG Hotspot as a part of the video series on how to deploy an open source hotspot system. So let's get started with the installation. First, let's search for the current versions of PHP and MySQL server in our Ubuntu repository using app cache search. As you can see here, it is uh, PHP 7 and the MySQL server is 5.7 then let's add another repository uh, from Android slash PHP so that we can have earlier versions of PHP the reason we are doing this is because uh, uh, easy hotspot is based upon the older version so it won't work correctly with PHP 7 that's why we are installing PHP 5.6 Okay, the packages we will be installing are PHP 5.6 uh, MySQL package, PHP 5.6 MB script, PHP 5.6 mcrypt, and PHP 5.6 XML along with MySQL server. Don't forget to run apt-get update before ins running apt-get install because uh, when we change any repositories, our package database aren't updated. So don't forget to update first. The installation will take some time. So let's wait for it. Okay, now we need to enter the MySQL root password. The installation has completed. Let's see the version of PHP and MySQL. PHP is 5.6 and MySQL is 5.7. Then let's uh, clone the GitHub repository of Easy Hotspot. Uh, note if you uh, think it is not worthwhile to install Git just to get this package, you can also download it uh, from the GitHub page for this project. Just download the zip and uh, unzip it in your local directory. Okay, let's navigate into the easy hotspot as you can see the project here my current uh, working directory is home surgeon slash easy hotspot now let's create a soft link for this project to our uh, default uh, uh, document root for apache server that is pair ww html this way i don't have to put the my project itself into the uh, www.html directory let's modify php.ini file to make few changes like uh, set our daytime setting to your local uh, time zone then let's also turn on uh, short open tag so that uh, our easy hotspot can run properly next let's change the database user password uh, for easy hotspot by default it is set to easy hotspot and since we are using a different password uh, in our previous videos uh, we'll set it accordingly then let's connect to our database check the databases available now let's create a new database for our easy hotspot called easy hotspot underscore open source in this case now let's also create a new user called easy hotspot who will have uh, uh, privileges on this database only let's grant all privileges for now in this database to this user then let's finally floss privileges to make it effect also I recommend you to go through these video tutorials on MySQL this is really nice one so that you can better understand uh, 
MySQL administration activities that I'm doing here. Let's exit out of MySQL and uh, let's import the uh, sample database provided by Easy Hotspot so that our schema is ready. It is available inside uh, installs and the file name is database with sample.sql. Let's check uh, whether the import has su successfully completed or not. So, databases. Uh, let's use op our database and show tables inside it as you can see our tables are now available inside this empty database we can also select some fields from the existing table then let's start the apache server and verify our easy hotspot for now easy slash easy hotspot will take me to my easy hotspot and it has given me some error and the reason I am getting this error is because my MySQL server is set to strict SQL mode. As you can see it is much strict rules. So in order to make this work I have to make it either flexible or I have to change my application codes to uh, work with this uh, strict settings. To make it permanent I have to uh, add uh, SQL mode statement inside of my.conf and uh, here I will add a flexible setting now I have to restart my MySQL server to make it uh, effect to verify I have to get into MySQL again and uh, select my SQL mode as you can see my SQL mode is now in set to flexible mode when I reload my page, it is now working. The default uh, login credentials are admin and password admin123. Let's quickly add a new user for our hotspot system. For now, I am just adding a test. You can add users as per your requirements. And this user will be valid for 30 days. The user has been added. And this completes our tutorial on Easy Hotspot. Thank you for watching.